This is Greg Noyes of Pacific West Home Inspections, and I'm doing a house today in Woodland Hills. And today is Wednesday, uh, August 26, I believe, 2014. Uh, the roof is a, a Cal Shake roof. Uh, it's a, a hybrid uh, foundation system. There's a slab in the family room and uh, living room, and there's a raised foundation for the rest of the house. The, uh, this, I want to go over how to shut off the different utilities. The first one we'll look at is going to be the water. So at the very front of the house, we find a water valve, and this will shut off the water from the street. They used a three-quarter inch uh, pipe from the street, and uh, typically today they would use a one inch. Uh, it does have a pressure regulator, and I'll uh, check the pressure here and see what you have. There's a uh, main panel at the very rear of the house and the hinges are broken. It's a 100 amp disconnect and it's a Zinsco uh, type of panel. Uh, it's a very popular panel and now 30 or 40 years later it's come back to uh, haunt us. Uh, they have problems with uh, corrosion and spraying tension and things like that. Today the electricians out here uh, repairing some electrical uh, problems with the house. I haven't heard exactly what they are yet. So that's the uh, electricity, how to shut the electricity off. Next thing we'll look at is how to shut off the gas. At the uh, left side of the house, left exterior, we have a gas meter. And we're in the city of LA and it's required to have a seismic gas shut off valve. And you'll see a typically a red or blue color box here and there'd be a strut coming off the wall here when you move in and that's required by the city of LA. That's one of the five requirements and the way the seismic gas shutoff valves work on a 5.4 earthquake they will automatically shut your gas off. Now just to manually shut the gas off there's a valve near the soil line here on this rusty pipe and you just turn the valve 90 degrees You'll need a wrench with that, and you go either way, and that will shut off the gas to the house. <clears throat> and uh, back here, they have a wood fence on the left exterior. And uh, as you go to the rear of the property, uh, it needs some repairs, some some damage areas. I got the ladder set up by the roof, and this is a Cal Shake roof. And on your report, there'll be a website you can go to. It uh, they'll crack. There was they have wood uh, fibers in them, and they'll this uh, get these cracks. You can see this one up here is cracked. There's no repair for them. It's uh, when we see them, it's just a roof that has zero life left. When I pull on this one uh, tile, it actually pulls right out. So this tile missing another four or five inches here. So. Uh, uh, Sit that back in there, and uh, but all through the fill, there's uh, cracks, and that's what you have. You can't walk on it, uh, so you make sure your service people stay off of it. That means your satellite uh, guy. Now your gutters are a little lower than the roof line, and when water flows down off these. Uh, you only have about two inches of gutter. They should have probably put a six inch gutter so you have four hanging out. And typically we don't get much rain in the state of LA, but uh, this is not going to be very effective when it does rain. And uh, got a couple of vents there. These are plumbing vents. Very top of the roof, you have a white uh, PVC pipe, and that's from your uh, uh, furnace. And I'm going to bring the camera around over your. Uh, garage area and you have a transite pipe for your uh, water heater and it's a little low. Uh, as you get near the top of the roof you have a wind vortex as wind comes over the roof it's like a wing of air uh, plane it gets a disturbance and today we raise the vents two feet above the ridge so it needs to go up a little bit more. We do get some uh, good here's another crack right here. So they're all through here. 
So, uh, Ken was pointed out in front of that house, in front of the garage, there are some more cracks, and you can actually see it here. So, uh, these uh, is the uh, nether. Oh, look at these cracks here. You got them all over the place. Anyways, the famous cow shake roofs, uh, bankrupt three times, and they're not here anymore. So, we'll go in the back of the house and look at some more of the roofing. So I'm on the uh, east side of the roof over the um, main master uh, bathroom and you see more cracking up here. And uh, there's a crack all the way across. And over the main uh, master bath bedroom there's some cracks on these tiles here as well. And the uh, surface uh, deteriorated already. It's losing its paint and it's just chipping, uh, chipping away here. So this is what you have is say a time for a re-roof.